Kygo and Ellie Golding with First Time on KMFM Tuesday night. You're listening to Glenn Scott. I've got 21 Pilots and 5 After Midnight on the way. But first, on the show this evening, Nick Jonas is hanging out. And the last time we had you on, we were chatting all about Close. Now, your new single, Remember I Told You, sounds a fair bit different to that. So what was the inspiration behind that? You know, I actually wrote this song uh, last summer um, while on tour. It was with... Um, um, Demi Lovato out on the road and Mike Posner was supporting and you know it was out in the studio bus that we had out on the road with us and basically just wrote the song and called Mike out and said hey man would, would you mind helping me finish this up so we wrote the lyrics and he did his rap and then about a year later you know I, I, I had sat on it for about a year I got uh, Anne Marie to jump on as well which was awesome and she absolutely killed it and brought so much to the song and it was just a, a great process kind of all happened really organically and was fun as well do you always travel around on a studio bus is that is that the way to do it if it's like if I if I ever get an idea, I need to be on my studio bus. Did you come here on your studio bus? I didn't come here on my studio bus. Uh, but I think, you know, when I'm on the road, I'm, I'm really inspired and constantly trying to create. And I think when you're in front of the fans like that, it's it's only natural that you would leave with some inspiration. So I try to have a creative space out on the road and, and it worked out because I got this song out of it. You mentioned your tour with Demi and Mike Posner. You were out for a lot of last year. There must have been some good nights on that tour. There's a few nights. I mean, we had a, a good night in Houston. It's pretty fun. A couple other nights where you know you just you just have to try to get out but the thing is you go from each city kind of back to back and so there's not a whole lot of time to to get out there and, and see the cities and do all that but we try okay so if you were in a club what song would instantly get you on the dance floor uh well any michael jackson song is gonna do that obviously uh <laughs> and then bad and bougie probably all you need is michael jackson and bad and bougie and you are straight onto the dance floor exactly um, one of my favorite videos of was it last year i think it was last year uh carpool karaoke with you and demi how how was that because that's become like a global phenomenon I mean, as soon as one of those comes out people are talking about it on twitter for like weeks after how was it to film it it was really fun the only thing is that it's really hot in the car <laughs> um i don't think people know that because you know they have to have the ac off for sound it ends up just being really really hot uh, and i was the idiot that decided to wear like a, a jacket so i i messed up there but other than that it was a lot of fun and to get to do it with demi too it was great you know one of my closest friends and we had a good time james is, is the best and obviously killing it and happy for him because it all seems so natural on the um, on the video do you have to do the same songs a few times take us behind the scenes i'm trying to remember i think that we did do a couple of the songs twice but the thing that james says to you when you first get into the cars he's like don't treat this like you're singing in your car like with just us he's like treat it like you're singing to madison square garden like this should feel larger than life so don't make it jokey like really go for it you know and and so we we did that we had fun and you know demi obviously has an amazing voice and it's a good yeah. time what's hotter Madison Madison Square Garden or the carpool karaoke car? <laughs> That's why we're just talking straight heat. Uh, yes. Definitely the carpool karaoke car. Wow. So you go to Madison Square Garden for the aircon. Exactly. <laughs> well, thank you for hanging out on the show. This thank evening. you so much. And I'm going to hit play on your new song. Can I leave you to introduce it, please? Yes. This is my new song, Remember I Told You, with Anne-Marie and Mike Posner. KMFM. Remember I told you. 